God bless you, every one of you, wherever you are. I thank God for your life. For this new month, I bless the name of the Lord for ushering us into this new month. I know that we are here in this month to succeed by the word of the living God. Hallelujah. I want us to pray because I am about to share the word of God with you. But before we hear the word of God, let us pray. Father, we thank you again for today. We know that you are here to bless our heart with your word. Let your word have impact in our life. Change us through your word. Purify us, O God. Make us clean according to your word. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. God bless you, wherever you are that you are listening to me today. I want to share the word of God with you. And the theme or the title of my message is How to Become Clean. How to Become Clean. Because God wants us to uh, walk with cleanliness. We must become clean as people because our God is clean. Our God is not dirty God. He's a clean God. And that is how he wants us also as his children to walk, to become clean every day in our life. Hallelujah. So I'm taking my scripture, my main scripture from the book of Psalm 119. Verse number 9, Psalm 119, verse number 9, says that how can a young man cleanse his way? By taking heed according to your word. How can a young man cleanse his way? By taking heed according to your word. Another translation says that young people can live a clean life by obeying your word young people can live a clean life by obeying your word and i'm not just talking to young people but i'm talking to everybody as a child of god there's only one thing that can make us clean and that is the word of god and when you're talking about the word clean we are talking about free from death or stain free from stain that means you are walking without any dirty things around you you are walking without stain in your in your in your life and this clean or a uh, uh, dirty or a uh, stain that i'm talking about is not a uh, uh, physical thing sometimes you 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 see that you are you are dirty so you go uh, uh to your bathroom and then you take your physical shower what do we use to take our spiritual shower? It is the word of God that we use to take our spiritual shower. It is the word of God that make us clean. There's nothing that can clean that can make you clean. There's nothing that can wash you than the word of God. So the moment the word of God comes to you, and your heart, you have done something against God. You see the word of God begin to wash you little by little. Every day as you take in the word of God, you clean yourself. Every day as you read the word of God, you study the word of God, you begin to clean yourself. As you enter into your bathroom and you open the water and the shower and the water is coming, you see all the dirty things on your physical body begins to go out. Because the water is washing every dirty thing are, are in your body. The same way also, the only thing that can make us clean spiritually is the word of God. So David said, young people can live a clean life by obeying your word. So now when we obey the word of God, we begin to clean ourselves. And also, when we disobey the word of God, we make ourselves dirty. Don't forget that. When you disobey against the word of God, you make yourself dirty. But when you obey the word of God, you clean yourself from any dirty things in this life. So there's no, there's nothing in this world that can make you clean except the word of God.
So anybody that obeys the word of God, clean themselves. Maybe physically people are clean, but spiritually they are dirty. Why? Because they do not believe or they do not obey the word of God. You can take any, I mean, shower you want to take in a day, 10 times, 20 times, 5, or you can use any kind or type of soap to wash yourself. But if you do not believe the word of God, you are still not clean. It is the word of God that clean people. It cleans our heart. And when it cleans our heart, it will clean every part of our life. So it is only the word of God that make us clean, nothing more. So David said, the only thing that young men, young people, people or any human being can use to clean themselves is the word of God. Now, let's go to the book of John, what Jesus also said, according to the book of John, chapter 15, verse number uh, three. But let me start from verse number one, John 15 from one. I am the true vine and my father is the vine dresser. Verse number two, every branch in me that does not bear fruit, he takes away. And every branch that bear fruit, he prunes that it may bear more fruit. Verse number three, you are already clean because of the word which I have spoken to you. So now Jesus said, you are clean. You are okay because of the word that I have, I have preached to you, because of the word that I have planted, because of the word that I have sown into your spirit, you are already clean. So at any time we hear the word of God and we obey the word of God and we move according.